I spoke in this place a few hours ago about love, and one of the things I love is investing in education. Uh, and I also like talking about delivering a fair go for Australia. Uh, every Friday, I start a conversation with my community called Fair Go Friday, where we talk about important policy issues where we want to make sure that Australians are getting a fair go. And when it comes to giving a fair go to Australian people, there's nothing more important than investing in education. My mum and dad were both primary school teachers. They continue to work in the education sector, educating and supporting the next generation of teachers uh, to deliver education and uh, enlightenment to young people in Western Australia. Myself and my wife, Jess, had the benefit of great university educations, her at the University of Queensland, myself at Curtin University. And my son is uh, just coming on his uh, first year in early childhood education. Early childhood educators do such good, important work in teaching little people how to become good, big people. Uh, Leo, at the moment, has a uh, dog, that, uh, a stuffed dog that comes home with, uh, with him at night, and he is learning how to look after that little animal. Uh, but that is all part of the education process that his early childhood educators have built for him. Also, in speaking on education, I want to commend the Prime Minister for his focus on Indigenous education and making sure that young Indigenous people get all the opportunities that they deserve wherever they should be in this country. Um, and speaking of education, I've even had uh, once the honour of being a guest lecturer at my other old university, the University of Western Australia, uh, along with the member for Canning delivering guest lectures uh, for, with, for Professor Peter Van Onselen's class, which was a great honour. Some of the things that have uh, been discussed with me as I've been visiting schools in my electorate over the last week prior to returning to Parliament have been, what's next? What is next going to happen for schools in the electorate of Perth? And I'm pleased to say that Labor has a very clear fair go action plan when it comes to education. Part of that is our national kindy and preschool program, making sure that some 700,000 Australian children will be able to access subsidised preschool. Uh, we've also announced a swim smart program, making sure that Australian kids get education in the water. Kids in primary school need to know how to swim wherever they should be. It's, a, it's an essential Australian skill. And uh, speaking of important water education, I'd like to give uh, a shout out to the people, the staff, the friends, the volunteers at Maylands Waterland. Some 40 years that uh, fantastic swimming education facility in my electorate has been standing. It has a bright future uh, and it also is just a great thing to have where some 40,000 families a year go and get to learn how to be safe in the water and enjoy uh, all, that, uh, all the sun and warmth that is all across Western Australia. I also commend uh, to my electorate uh, Labor's commitment to school needs-based school funding, restoring some $17 billion to our schools. Fair go for schools means that we'll invest in just the first three years of any future shortened Labor government some 21 million in Perth schools. That means schools like Mayland Peninsula Primary School will receive an extra $780,000. It means that schools like Eden Hill Primary School will receive some $580,000. Inglewood Primary down the road from my electorate, would, electorate office would receive $620,000 in the first three years under Labor's plans. And uh, Amy, Amy Blitvich, one of the uh, newest teachers at Mount Lawley Senior High School, would be able to make sure that she can give the one-on-one -on -one attention and resourcing she needs to her students with some extra $2,650,000 uh, for Mount Lawley Senior High School. It's not just at the secondary, uh, the primary and uh, early years. We also need to invest in our universities. Labor will establish uh, some $300 million university future fund to make sure that we can build the research and teaching facilities of the future. We'll abolish the cap on student places, meaning that Edith Cowan University in my electorate can actually give places to the students who are knocking on their door. They've got the grades. They just don't have the places to be able to get in and get that tertiary education they need. That's going to deliver some 200,000 more places into our university sector over coming years. I also say that we've got to do something more about the um, disgraceful uh, ongoing challenge of sexual assault in our universities, and Labor will give a new independent task force strong powers 
to crack down on sexual harassment and assault at our universities. Thank you.